Hello, we play customers. Kyle Rodman, general manager of your locally owned utility. Uh, hope you're doing well. And I hope you've had a chance to see some of our staff working hard on your behalf uh, out and about this summer. We have uh, a whole set of reliability improvement projects we've been working through, and I think they'll really pay dividends down the road here uh, the next time we go through a major event like we did back in January. Um, so that's, that's the positive stuff that we're working on out there. Unfortunately, uh, I'm coming to you today again with this uh, uh, sort of side issue that has become uh, you know, quite, a, quite a large uh, concern for us, which is the county's effort to build this new IMRF facility. They're now calling this Clean Lane. I think the PR folks got a hold of it and didn't like the way that uh, IMRF had been uh, getting a bad reputation. So now we have Clean Lane. So Clean Lane is this new $150 million facility um, where the county is going to divert waste that previously we would have used at the landfill for renewable low cost electricity. Instead, now the county is going to, to use that to generate their own gas and fund their own operations. And so this is about a $20 million impact to EPUD customers. Um, you know, our customers are gonna be hit you know, twice on this thing because not only are your garbage rates going up, but you're also gonna see higher electricity rates over time. And we've been very public with our position here to say that that's, that's just wrong, uh, that you know, the, the rural parts of this county should not be impacted more than some of the other parts. And, and frankly, we have a proven method and there's no reason to move forward with this uh, you know, major, major investment. So we've made our case. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear that the, the Board of County Commissioners is listening. Um, it was a three to two split vote back in December. Um, we have no indications that that's really changed despite all of our advocacy. Um, and so what we're asking at this point is when the Board of Commissioners meet on August 20th, um, we'd like to get as many people there as possible to offer public comment. And the request that we're going to be making and that we would ask our customers to make is to refer this issue to the ballot in November. You know, this is a $150 million plus investment in our community, and it was moved forward on a three to two vote, again, with a split county commission. We have had other similarly sized public works projects uh, in this county referred to the ballot. We had the county courthouse a few years ago. Um, more recently, we talked about the baseball stadium, which was a fraction of the cost of this one. That was referred to the Eugene ballot, but the concept is the same. When you have these types of major investments and resources being um, you know, put into specific projects, the public deserves a vote. And that's even more so when it's impacting the rural parts of the county more so than uh, the, the you know, urban folks. Um, our customers should not have to pay more because of a project that the county is doing, um, despite knowing that this will cost EPUD customers more. So our ask, if you're able to, is to come to the meeting of the county commissioners on August 20th, uh, offer a very respectful public comment uh, that asks them to refer this to the November ballot so the public at least has, to, has a say in this very major investment that's going to negatively impact EPUD's customers. Um, you can do that public comment in person, which is the most impactful. You could also do it online. There's a Zoom option if you wanna log in and do that. We'll provide some information uh, you know, on our website to be able to do that. If the schedule just doesn't work for you, um, you know, a, a, a succinct, short, respectful email is also effective. Um, you know, I would write to the county commissioners. We'll, we'll have the email address available and, and just make the same ask that this is a, a big enough uh, issue. It should be referred to the November ballot. Um, we'll be making that case ourselves, but the more actual constituents that the commissioners can hear from, particularly those that are in EPA's area, and that's what's so frustrating about this is we have uh, at least two of the three commissioners that have supported this project, we have made our case and we have said, this will have a very major financial impact on EPUD and they represent a large portion of our customers. Um, that has not gotten through for whatever reason. And so I think hearing from constituents directly, directly may be more effective. Um, if the board moves forward with this, we're gonna have to consider our options and, and you know, what our plans are long-term out at, at Short Mountain. I will say that that facility has been a very valuable resource for us over the years. Uh, it's given us low cost, local, reliable power, and it would be a real shame if it's no longer as valuable moving forward. So we're gonna do everything we can to stop this uh, current course of action from the commissioners ahead of their meeting on the 20th. I do think though that's a very significant date where if, if they vote to move forward, um, it may start to turn a different direction here and it may be out of our hands. So anything our customers can do, uh, whether it's showing up at the meeting, offering comment, or writing emails, we, we'd love to have your, your help with this uh, once and for all. 
I know we keep talking about it, but this is a big deal. And again, as we face other cost pressures, um, this is just one more thing that we're having to deal with. And, and we're trying to keep rates low. And I, I made this point to the commission directly. I said, as a public agency, we take the cost of living issues around here seriously. And we don't wanna increase rates on our customers. Um, it's difficult given all the other pressures we face to have our own local government, uh, you know, put one more issue on our plate that we have to deal with uh, and, and have, you know, prevents us from keeping our rates reasonable. So that's our ask. If you could help us, you know, on August 20th, we'd love it. There'll be more information on the website. Um, but, uh, you know, we've got the best customers in the world and you've been great so far voicing your concerns alongside us. Um, this is kind of the, the one last ask we really have on this project is to reach these commissioners before they make a decision that's going to be with us now for, for decades to come. So if you can help us, we'd really appreciate it. Please reach out with any thoughts, concerns, questions. Uh, I'm always available to answer your questions directly, so don't be afraid to reach out. Thanks for being great customers and talk to you soon.